My 25F boyfriend 26M of 10 months is best friends with his ex 20S, F. She refuses to meet me and it's getting weird. I started dating my boyfriend Jeff, 10 months ago. This relationship has been amazing so far and I definitely see a future with him. There's just one problem. He has a weird relationship with his ex that's starting to make me really uncomfortable and suspicious. When we started dating, he often talked about his best friend, Jenna, who he also owns a business with. He made it pretty clear that she was an important person to him. I knew they had spent vacations together and he mentioned hanging out with her parents a few times too. A few weeks after I met him, I creeped through all his pictures on Facebook because who doesn't do that with someone they just started dating? And saw a bunch of very couple Y pictures of him and Jenna. I also found her Instagram and looked through it, and it's filled with pictures of Jeff. A bunch of them had the hashtag hashtag relationship goals and other similar things. So in this way, I figured out that they had dated. I kept waiting for him to tell me that himself but he never did. About two months after we started dating, I straight up asked him if he had dated her, and he admitted it. He said that they had met in school and had similar ideals and ambitions. They dated for nine months and broke up a year and a half ago. I asked him why they'd broken up, and he said their relationship was awful and they worked much better as friends. They started their business after they broke up and things have, apparently, been going well between them since then. I started to get kind of suspicious about her though, when time passed and I still hadn't met her. I met his friends and family pretty soon after we started dating, but I didn't meet Jenna. I went to numerous social events that I'd expect her to be at, but she was never there. There were a number of occasions when our paths almost crossed and I really thought I was going to meet her, but I never did. For example, I went to their office a few times to meet Jeff after work and Jenna was already gone. Or sometimes I'd come to meet him and he'd come outside to meet me so I wouldn't have to go inside. Things started to get really weird about three months ago. Jeff and Jenna were having an open house night one evening. Jeff came over to my place after work and we had a few hours to kill before it was time to go. So we went out for dinner and then walked to the office. I was kind of expecting that I'd come in and help them set up, but when we were a block away, he started asking me if I had lots of work to do and saying there was a really nice coffee shop nearby. He actually walked me to the coffee shop and sat me down, then left to go get ready with Jenna. He told me to come to the office in an hour and a half. About half an hour before I left for the office, I texted Jeff and said I hoped everything was going well and asked if there was anything I could do. He replied and said, something's come up for Jenna and she can't be here tonight. I was getting really suspicious at this point. I went to the office half an hour later and sure enough, Jenna wasn't there. People kept asking about her all night and Jeff told them she'd had a family emergency. When we walked back to the car later that night, he told me what happened. While he and Jenna were getting ready, she had had a panic attack and said she was scared to meet me. She said she wouldn't be able to handle it and either had to leave, or he had to tell me not to come. He told her to leave, so she did. Since then, a couple more weird things have happened, and I still haven't met Jenna. Once, when I was hanging out with Jeff, we went to the office so he could grab something. When we were almost there, he looked at his phone and said, Jenna's still there. Let's just go for a walk. So we walked around the block for half an hour and then came back when she was gone. After that happened, I told Jeff I felt really uncomfortable with the situation. I could respect that they were friends who had dated, but the way she was acting about me was very suspicious. He apologized and said he had actually been really mad at her, but wasn't sure what to do. He also told me a couple other weird stories about things she'd done. He went to a party a few weeks ago I didn't go and his phone had died that night. When he got home and charged his phone, it was full of texts from Jenna saying she was outside in her car and asking if I was there or not. She actually never even ended up going to the party, simply because she didn't know if I was there or not. Now here's the kicker, Jeff and Jenna are currently on a two-week-long camping trip. They've been planning this trip since before I met him. But considering the way she's behaved, I feel very uncomfortable about him being on this trip. I just looked at her Instagram and she's posted five new pictures of him. As awesome as Jeff is, I'm really fed up with this and I'm seriously considering breaking things off when he gets back. Am I being unreasonable? I wrote my previous post over a year ago, and a lot has happened since then. I wanted to give everyone an update, since the advice on this sub was really helpful at the time. For a few months after I wrote my op, nothing much happened. Jeff and I continued dating, and he continued being friends or partners with Jenna. I never met her, 
But everything else in our relationship seemed to be going so well that I decided I'd try to deal with it. Things got really hard however, when I had to take a work contract 12 hours away from home for 3 months. I hardly saw Jeff the whole time, and I looked at Jenna's Instagram almost every day to see if she'd posted more photos of them together. More often than not, she had. Since I wasn't physically present, I felt like Jenna was his real girlfriend. I felt completely worthless and constantly stressed out, knowing my boyfriend was spending all his time with another woman who I already had suspicions about. While I was away for work, I decided to break up with Jeff. I broke up with as soon as I came back, and I made it very clear that his relationship with Jenna was intolerable for me. I told him he was going to have a hard time dating anyone who wasn't her as long as she was still in his life. He kept saying he didn't understand why it was such a problem. He told me he couldn't control her behavior, but he promised me he hadn't cheated on me. I explained to him that by allowing their friendship to continue, he was condoning her behavior. I told him I didn't really even care if he'd physically cheated or not, since he'd already shown disrespect for me and our relationship. I didn't speak to him for a few months and I went on with my life. I took another contract out of town and even considered moving permanently to another city. One night though, Jeff called me and apologized. He said he had been thinking about our relationship a lot and realized he had been in the wrong. He said his relationship with Jenna was beginning to feel toxic to him, and he'd made arrangements to dissolve their business partnership. After that, I decided to meet up with him not necessarily give him another chance and discuss the situation further. When we met up, he promised to stop talking to Jenna and unfollowed her on all social media. As of now, he has not spoken to her in six months, and we've gotten back together. We actually ran into her at a concert a few weeks ago, and they didn't even say hi to each other. I feel much more respected and confident in my relationship now.